This is the Luxley Cello. This is a RGB AW. They say it's an on-camera light. I'd never use this on camera. It's a little bit too big for me. Um, I use this, stick it on a stand, use it as a key light, a fill light, a hair light. Uh, I put it in the back of scenes, maybe just a bit of light, bit of color and texture in different places. The AW means it has both amber and white LEDs in here, which is one of the reasons why this light is so, so accurate. I would dare say the Luxley lights are the most accurate lights on the market at the moment. It's 10 inches. Um, it's a 24 watt light. It has 176 LEDs. Uh, for a light this size being 24 watts, that's pretty massive. That's a very bright light for, for the size of this. I mean, look how thin that is. It has a really beautiful color. Oh, turned it off. Really beautiful color um, screen, LCD on the back here. It has a couple of knobs here that control everything. I accidentally just put it into blue. It's made of a really hard ABS plastic. It doesn't feel cheap, not at all. Even though it is plastic, it definitely does not feel cheap. It's an extremely well-made unit. Just quickly, mounting points. I was talking about this being an on-camera light. The one thing that tells you that it's kind of designed just to be an on-camera light, just to be an on-camera light, it has a quarter 20 on the bottom here, and that's it. There's no other real mounting options. Um, that's not a big negative for me. The fact that you can just put this on a light stand because of this quarter 20 and stick it around. Most of the time I find myself just leaning this light in places or resting it in places. It is color adjustable. Oh, sorry, CCT adjustable from 3000 all the way up to 10,000, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. You can adjust that in 50K increments so you can get nice and accurate with your settings. Uh, just quickly, I might pop this back into 32. It has 150 built-in gels, which are all crazy, crazy accurate. For a light this size and this price, having 150 gels on board, that's wild. That's, that's kind of unheard of. I think a lot of other companies now are starting to jump on this gel bandwagon, wagon, real, wagging, wagging, bandwagon, bandwagon, realizing that gels can be really, really handy. If you're matching to other lights, if you're matching to practicals in a space, having these gels you can just whack on here. Uh, if you've got a lighting guy on set and he really knows what he's doing, he or she really know what they're doing, uh, the gels are just, they're a godsend. Thank you so much, Luxley, for sticking those in here. Oh yeah, quickly, I'm gonna mention that the gels remember your CCT setting, which is phenomenal. So if I set it to say something, something odd, like 4200, right? If I've got some down lights in the ceiling, if I whack a gel on, the gel is applied onto that 4200. If I have it at 32, which is what I'm on right now, the gel is applied to that 3200. Amazing, really, really good stuff. It has full RGB HSI mode. Now the HSI mode is adjustable in one degree increments, which is awesome. Sounds like that could be a bit of a headache going through one, one degree increments, trying to find the color you want. It does have the most common colors preset. So as you flip through that 1% fast enough, it'll jump to what you think the, the target color is that you want. Or you can just go nice and slow, nice and medium, and move in those 1% increments. I've got it plugged in at the moment. I'm running it off mains. Just some of my NPF batteries are a bit dodgy. This takes NPF batteries. Uh, some of my batteries are a bit old, and I don't think they're fully charging anymore. So this is just to make sure that it stays on through the entire review. Um, the NPF sled on the back here has a lock. I can't stress how cool that is. Once your NPF is in this, it cannot come out unless you physically press this release lock. You can accidentally drop this, you can bump it, you can throw it to a mate, that NPF is never coming out. Again, thank you Luxley. It's all the small stuff this company does, on top of these being ridiculously bright, accurate lights. All the small things they're doing, you can tell they're trying to make a name for themselves as the leading RGB 
LED panel manufacturers and so far they're getting it right. Output, let's have a quick look at this. The output of this, right now I have it on 1%. I'm gonna crank this all the way up to 100%. That's 100%. This is measuring at full tilt, 350 lux at two meters. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably in daylight. Let's switch to daylight quickly. Bam. There's my daylight. Uh, 350 lux at two meters for a light that is this big is wild. That's the equivalent of just a generic one by one panel. Usually what one by ones put out, that's about 80% of the brightness of a one by one at full tilt. And this is tiny. A lot of the reason this is so bright is because every single LED here has its own little lens, which helps project that light, which uh, again, this is technology that's picking up. A lot of companies are starting to do this. Luxley have been doing this from the very beginning. Um, I think that's what, that, that's been one of their main goals. Not only did they wanna be very, very accurate with their lights, but they just wanted to have extremely bright lights for the size of the light you're buying. All right, so this panel, oh, also by the way, I'm not entirely sure on the weight of this panel, but it it doesn't weigh anything. It weighs, it weighs as much as you think it would just by looking at it, right? I mean, if you put an MPF battery on here, you're gonna add that weight, of course, but that's like any light. You get that light, you put a battery on, it weighs more. Like I said, it's thin, it's 10 inches long. Uh, it's a hard plastic to keep the weight down. Um, just on a side note, I've had this running at 100% full tilt on shoots for hours. It never gets really hot. It gets warm, but it never gets like, holy crap, that light's really hot, hot. How color accurate are these lights? So from 3200 up to 5600, they are within, I wrote this down, they are only 30K off at any setting between 32 and 5600. That's, that's insanely accurate. That's crazy. I've never seen a panel like this that accurate before. It shifts a bit at the extremes when you start going to 10,000 and all the way down to 3000. It's off, but it's only 50K off. So like, let's say that's an average. Let's go in the middle. That's 40K off any setting from 3000 to 10,000 Kelvin. One of my favorite reviewers online was comparing this to his RE Sky panels. He was saying that these are not only as accurate, but they beat the RE Sky panels in a lot of tests for accuracy. So if you've never heard of Luxley, everyone's heard of RE. If you wanna hold RE as that main, uh, that's it, right? Like people think the RE Sky panels are as good as you can get. I don't think so. The Luxley panels are taking over. These are better, in my opinion. They're more accurate for the size and the footprint. They're brighter. Um, there's better technology. The menus in these, the nice, beautiful color display on the back, they're just better lights. And they're cheaper, most importantly. This panel, these panels at the moment, I think retail for about, I think if you look at B&H, it says they're like $3.99 a panel or something. That's not right. I got this for, I actually got these second hand. I got them much, much cheaper, but I think you can pick them up for about 299, 280 a panel. Oh, the integrated phone app that you get with these, again, is best in class. The, the app is phenomenal. It connects flawlessly, no matter how many of these lights you have turned on, they all show up. All the controls you have on the back here, you have in the app. Plus you have the color select thing mode that a lot of LED panels are starting to add now. I know Aperture do it, where you fire up the app, you open up your phone, uh, you turn the camera on and any part of the image you click on will set this light to match that color, which is phenomenal. So if I say, turn the phone on and point it at the red here, of my sound panel, uh, this light will turn that red. Crazy cool tech. 
Uh, we've used this for product stuff. If we want to match the exact colors being used on a product, and we have a few of these lights set up, we can just get out our phone, turn on the camera, press on the product, and bang, the colors are amazing. This is quite a uh, directional light. It doesn't have a massive, massive beam angle. The soft box. Um, highly recommended. Like I said, the beam angle of these, it's, it's not super wide. Um, so you're gonna wanna get yourself a soft box for these. Now, love and hate these soft boxes, right? Uh, the size is great. So the soft box sits on like this. There are these little kind of channels in the corner here where the, the light slips into. Getting it in is fairly easy. Um, if you pick it up quite fast and move it around quite fast, it can slip out a bit, which is a little bit annoying. I'm getting better at figuring out how to move this around without it coming out of its soft box. Uh, really nice hard diffusion panel here. A um, couple of gripes. Actually, let's go with the positives first positives would be that the interior is white which is beautiful helps with reflections and projection of the light um, once this is on there's absolutely no light bleed out of the back there are these little vents here for heat and these even point backwards so if there's any light coming out whatsoever maybe a teeny tiny bit out of these vents it shines back so it doesn't go out. But again, I've never really noticed any light bleed out of here, Not nothing significant. Um, things I don't like, one, like I mentioned, the little channel that it sits in, if you pick up the light fast, it can come out of that channel kind of easily. I'm getting better at picking it up. The front panel here also comes out. This flicks out. But I know why they can do that. It's so this becomes kind of a barn door, right? So if you don't want the diffusion and you really want to channel that light, you can take this off. It's a positive and a negative, again, because this can come unclipped quite easily. But the more I use these, the better I am. I think it's a handling thing. Once you've been holding one of these in a softbox and using them for a while, uh, this has stopped slipping out, the light stops slipping out. I think I'm just better at picking it up and moving it around. Uh, and a really, really cool thing, and this is a massive positive, is because I leave these on when I store it, it goes completely flat, right? Really, really cool. And then you just thump, pop them out and that's it. That's your softbox. Uh, even with the softbox on, the footprint is pretty small. The softbox diffuses the light pretty well. Um, it's not like firing it into gridded cloth or silk or something that's still gonna do a better job. Uh, but if you don't wanna be carting that stuff around and you just wanna set these up as is in their own soft boxes, nice, compact, small, and with a light that has this much output, I mean, I, I will take three of these or four of these on a set instead of one by one panels. And I have nothing, there's no soft boxes, there's no Velcro, there's no wire arms that I have to lock in. I just pop these out, put them on a light stand, and I'm good to go. I just can't recommend them enough. Again, huge output. The most color accurate lights on the market. Beautiful menus, beautiful phone app, incredible price. Small, slim, robust, really, really well thought out. Lots of little things on these lights that you can tell this company wanna make a statement in the lighting industry, which at times can already feel pretty saturated. If you don't wanna go buy one of these, go hire one or just go into a shop and play with one and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. They are absolutely phenomenal. They're completely game changing. And if you wanna be buying a light or investing in lights that you know you're spending your money on something good, you're spending your money on lights at the forefront of what is accurate and what is capable and what is used by professional filmmakers, go check out Luxly. Uh, oh, very last thing, I'm pretty sure they're made in Norway, which is super cool. They're not a Chinese made light. They're designed and made in Norway. All right, guys, until next time, catch you then. See ya.